Welcome! Within this guide I want to show you how to use the graph generator for kills and jumps which is available on the Adam for Eve website in the currently in the graph porn menu item. Now easiest way is to show by using example so for example, you've asked yourself uh, in which security sector most of the kills are happening, be it NPCs, so uh, rat kills uh, or PVP kills. Nothing easier than that. Um, for this, you select the Crest Kills data source. Uh, since it is the most accurate, it uh, registers each and every kill and uh, since you want to know the security sector you go uh, you select the security data grouping and there the uh, group by the security sector now data columns um, here you have to decide if you want to see NPC or ship kills or pod kills um, let's take ship kills, so PvP uh, kills, and uh, we can't select anything else than counts, so we leave that. Uh, display uh, daily value. We want to see a graph of the um, well, how many ships have been killed per day. Uh, in contrast to historic sum, which would uh, sum up uh, each value per day. So uh, today's value would be yesterday's plus those of today. So it would be a, a rising graph. And um, averaging, I'll go into that in a second. Um, and we want to see the last six months. We don't want to limit to a region just yet generate graph wait a few seconds and you see uh, the number of ships as requested by security sector and you see the ascension release uh, had quite a dramatic impact on the pvp ship kills in high sec from 7.7 K uh, went up to 25. So that's more than tripled um, since Ascension. That's a lot. Um, I skipped over the average value. Um, what does averaging mean? You see that here is quite a smooth graph. Um, if you take out averaging, um, I'll do that now directly in the URL to show you that you can also use that if you're advanced uh, in the usage of the generator. Uh, all the parameters are transmitted um, on purpose via the URL. So you can take that URL and send it somewhere or store it somewhere. And uh, if you use it again, you will see that graph again, um, exactly with all these parameters. So if we take the average uh, from seven days down to one day and look at the graph, then you see it's not so smooth anymore. Um, this is because, of course, the activity within the game um, fluctuates, um, mainly on the weekends. There's uh, more activity than during the week. Um, so by averaging, you've got the opportunity to get smooth, smoother graphs um, if you select an increasingly um, higher factor. Good, so now we know in high sec um, a lot of uh, kills uh, have been going on. Let's go back. Um, let's look at where these kills happened. So we've uh, seen uh, the security, the security sector. Uh, we've seen that high sec um, has had a huge increase. We now want to know where these kills happened. So 
we go select the data grouping to location and we want to see the region where this happens. Again, we want to see uh, ship kills, daily values, and um, now the ranking is um, important. Um, here it, uh, of course, cannot show all the regions since there's 100, 100 of them. Um, so it only shows five of them. Therefore, it has to rank the regions, uh, the generator. And um, it can either do this by ranking, so creating a ranking across the last few days or across the complete history that you select here in time span. So it, if I take history here, then it would uh, create a ranking across the whole six months. If I take now, um, it will rank across the last three days. We'll take now since uh, Ascension hit, uh, we want to see the top five regions uh, of PVP kills. Um, we want to average it uh, since that's a, a nicer graph. And we, since we've seen that most of the kills have been in high sec, we want to see where the action is in high sec. Generate the graph. And it seems that Essence uh, is a bit in front, um, but uh, mainly the Forge. Uh, and Lone Trek are the regions where most of the action happens. Uh, if you want to see what kind of uh, amount these top five has, uh, you in the bottom for all of the data lines, uh, you have a checkbox in order to display it or hide it. Um, there's also for the, if you have a top um, graph you also have total and others so if we display total uh, this is the line for all regions and if you also display others you see that the shown five regions uh, have a significant amount or cover a significant amount of the kills um, that is happening in high sec Now, if what happens if you don't select anything, then of course no grouping is being done. And um, you can see the complete kills um, within complete new even. Um, it is showing you the three categories, NPCs, so rat kills, which of course is uh, very, very high. Um, and you can hide it. Uh, if you hide it down here, uh, you see the ship kills and the pod kills that have increased with Ascension. You've got uh, two different, uh, two additional data sources um, as well, um, which is, for example, the crest gate jumps. Um, let's take an example here uh, where in which security sector was the most activity, the most gate jumps. Um, I would assume that would be also high sec, but let's check. Uh, we take three months. We want to have the security sector. Um, we also want to rank uh, by the last few days and we shoot and Indeed, so you see that uh, um, most gate jumps happened or the increase uh, of the gate jumps is mainly, mainly within high sec. If you want to have more details on the kills, uh, then there's also the option to use the set kill board, uh, the uh, data that is available in that kill board. Um, please note that that kill board doesn't cover all kills that happened within EVE Online. It covers about one third. So um, you have to use uh, that data and the graph that are generated here uh, with a bit of caution. Um, so if we take, so we want to see now, for example, what kind of ships uh, are being destroyed. Uh, the most. Um, 
So we select a ship, which is now uh, only available with the set killboard uh, data source since uh, this information is not being provided by CCP via the API. Um, type of ship that was de destroyed, we don't want the individual ship, we want the group of ships. Um, and here you've also got the option instead of just the amount of uh, kills uh, to have the ISK value or the average ISK value. Uh, we take the count, um, daily value, the ranking should be now and um, last three months and we limit this. Let's limit this just for an example to the forge. And we limit this as well to ships, um, since if you select all or s keep it as all also structures um, like citadels are included or deployables like uh, mobile depots or tr uh, mobile tractor unit um, are included. We only want to have ships. So generate that graph, please. Please note for set kill board, um, since the data the table is a lot larger and has a lot more columns. Uh, the generation of uh, that graph or those graphs can take some time, uh, can take even up to several minutes, uh, depending on how many filters or combination you have selected. So uh, for the set killboard data, you have to bring some patience. However, here it took only 19 seconds, uh, so that's good. And uh, well, Capsule is mostly uh, on top um, of uh, if you're looking at uh, the ship kills. Um, therefore, we hide the Capsule and we see that uh, um, within high sec, um, no, no, the Forge um, currently Corvettes, interestingly, are on top, um, but frigates uh, have increased uh, within the last days since ascension. And if we look at the total and the others that these ship classes cover, well, most of uh, the kills, so battleships, etc., uh, they make. Uh, um, account only for a small amount. Now this is the count. Um, you could also look at the value. I'm now not going back to the form um, demonstrating how to use the URL. I'll take value. Oh, val value and shoot. Generating the graph now based on the value of the ISK value of the kills. Uh, again, uh, limited to the forge. And here, of course, the picture is different. Uh, freighters are on top. Um, since, uh, well, if you destroy one frigate, uh, that's at most one million. Uh, whereas if you destroy a freighter, that's at least one billion uh, and therefore uh, frigates won't show here. Uh, interestingly enough, capsules are here as well with nine billion. Um, so a lot of um, value have been within those capsules. One other thing I want to demonstrate or one other use case uh, is the um, average value. So if we again go to ships, um, no, let, let's take security. Uh, take security, we will again want to look at the security sectors. We look at the pods and we want to have the average value of the pods. Um, and want to see if in high sec uh, the value of pods is uh, so capsules uh, is higher than in low, low or null, since uh, you would expect to be killed in null more than in high sec. Three months, 
average value of uh, the kills so that is the uh, total value of all capsule kills across uh, divided by the number of kills and show me that please takes a second to generate the graph now this graph took a bit longer uh, one and a half minutes and what you can see here is the uh, average isk value of pot kills um, and indeed uh, the value of pods used in high sec uh, so the green line is higher than in low sec and null sec um, since in a null sec you would expect to lose your pod uh, more frequently than in high sec so that is expected um, but you also see here uh, the influence of ascension um, since alpha clones have lower value pods and um, are being killed apparently quite a lot um, the average value um, is decreasing by quite a lot that's it uh, for this guide i hope i gave you a overview what these different um, options mean and what they uh, influence um, you can just uh, try them out um, and uh, look at the the result if it's what you uh, what you wanted to see if you encounter any bugs please let me know so I can correct them. If you um, want a, a graph uh, or are seeking to answer a question with a graph that you cannot generate um, currently with this generator, you need a, a different grouping or something like that, um, you can also let me know and it might make it onto the feature list and be implemented at some time. Hope this helped. Thank you very much and talk to you next time. Bye bye.